zero point zero ninety four times the value of your sulfur so that is already given the problem so our sulfur is one point fifty seven so that is one point fifty seven so we can uh, so the value of your net hydrogen so net hydrogen now is equal to uh, 2.44 percent okay okay so let's have your checklist here so we have now your carbon natin dito nakuha na natin yan okay so we have your carbon here so this is already checked so we have your moisture so combined water yun na lang wala tayo net hydrogen so we nakuha na natin ang net hydrogen ang combined water na lang wala now, to solve the combined water, so we have your, uh, so that is also the difference. 100% um, that is minus your carbon, net hide minus nit hydrogen minus the moisture minus the nitrogen minus the ash and minus the sulfur. Now, your combined water, so we have your 100, no? So, minus your carbon, so, so our carbon here, we have 54. So, ito yun, 54.25, yan. Minus your net hydrogen, we have 2.44. Then, minus your moisture, which is 10.3. Minus uh, your nitrogen. So, our nitrogen is 10.3, that will be 1.2, our nitrogen, okay given to the problem minus uh, 7.7 7 for your ash then minus your sulfur which is 1.57 now our combined water will become now um, value na combined water is equal now to 22.54% okay Okay, so um, we have already the combined water, so that is already checked. So we can uh, remove that to uh, cross that one, and we also we have the net hydrogen. So we have also the properties for your carbon, nitrogen, sulfur, and so na compute na natin yun. So that satisfies yung requirement na mod modified analysis. So take note of that one. For proximate analysis, so remembering that on what we need only for proximate analysis is the moisture, BCM, ash, and fixed carbon. Okay, so so if you be able to provide that one, so that satisfies the proximate analysis. Now for modified analysis, we need to determine the carbon content, uh, moisture, uh, the ash, nitrogen, sulfur, net hydrogen, and combined water. So by using this formula, so by using the Calderwood equation and also the Dulong's formula, we may able to determine the value of ng carbon and also yung net hydrogen and combined water. So that satisfies the modified analysis ng requirements niya. So take note of that one. So let's go to letter C, ultimate analysis. So it is a precise defined as the precise chemical determination by percent by weight of the six basic component. So determining the carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, sulfur, ash, and oxygen. So it is usually by means of difference. So plus minus. Okay. So for the ultimate analysis, now for the ultimate analysis, so we need to determine your carbon. So for the carbon, we have already nakuha na natin yun. So that is equal to 54, no? So this is 54.25%. And for your hydrogen, so yung hydrogen natin is unknown. And also our oxygen is unknown, content ng... ng ano natin, coal. Now, for us, so usually us, nakuha, na, na, given already, that is 7.7%. Then, 
uh, for your nitrogen so that will be already given our nitrogen is 1.2 percent then our sulfur is equal to 1.57 percent it's already being given to the problem now to get the total hydrogen of your uh, of your coal so that is equal to the net hydrogen okay so net hydrogen na na natin yan. then plus the hydrogen in the combined water and moisture so what we don't have is your hydrogen in combined water and moisture so now to get the hydrogen so we have here h in the combined water and moisture so that is equal to the combined water plus the moisture multiplied by the percent of volume of your hydrogen at h2o so this is achieved by this equation you know how much percentage of volume of hydrogen percentage of volumetric analysis so at h2o so that will be equal to the moles of your hydrogen Okay, divided by the total moles of your H2O. Okay. So this is now equal to, um, that will be 2 for your hydrogen divided by uh, the total hydrogen of H2O. That will be 2 plus 16. Okay. This is a form of volumetric analysis, no? So, remembering from our previous lecture for volum volumetric analysis. So, this is now divided by uh, 18. So, 2 divided by 18. So, we have the percentage. How much is the volumetric, no? Of uh, uh, volumetric percentage of your H uh, A hydrogen at the H2O. So, that is... Um, so, this is equal to 0. 11 for the value no no or we can use also the fraction value to uh, para to preserve the decimal places so we can write now to solve the hydrogen in the combined water so that is equal now to the combined water so that will be 2.44 your combined water so that will be 22 22.54 plus 10 point the value for the moisture so 10.3 for the moisture then multiplying that one by the ratio of the volumetric analysis of your h2o so that will be 2 over 18 so we have the value of 3.649 now to get the total hydrogen so we have now 2.44 for your net hydrogen which is coming from this value then plus your hydrogen we have 3.649 okay so summing up that one so we have six point 0.9% so this is now our our hydro total hydrogen of composition of the subbituminous uh, sub uh, subbituminous coal sub B so next we're going to determine naman yung kulang pa natin which is yung oxygen okay so oxygen is also being analyzed by means of the volumetric analysis so also volumetric analysis so for our oxygen, so that will be yung O natin. So that will be oxygen in the uh, combined water. And we have your moisture. Combined wa in oxygen in the combined water and moisture. So that will be equal to uh, 22.54. So that will be yung combined water that is the value of this one combined water plus the moisture so how much is the moisture we have 10.3 percent then we're going to multiply this one by the volumetric percentage of volumetric analysis 
So that will percentage of volumetric analysis of your oxygen at H2O. Now to get the percentage of volumetric analysis, so again it is by means of uh, the to total moles of your oxygen divided uh, moles of or oxygen divided by the total moles of H2O. Now to get this um, uh, value, so that is equal to 16 over 18. So the same uh, per, uh, uh, the same procedure that we use to get the volumetric. Uh, that uh, volumetric uh, content of um, volumetric analysis of your hydrogen dito kanina. So, we have now, so directly substitute natin do, dito sa equation. So, we have your combined water and your moisture. So, oxygen in combined water and moisture. So, we have 22.54 plus 10.3. Okay, so I'm gonna multiply this one by 16. So 16 by 18. So bakit again 16 by 18? So mga pasinyo dito kanina, so ginawa natin solution that is 2 over by 16. Since the total balls of your H2O is 18. Now, what will um, pinalitan ko na lang dito sa ibabaw that is the, the moles of oxygen, which is 16 moles of oxygen. So. So, ganun lang siya. Not be complicated. So, we have the answer for this one. Your oxygen value. So, it will be equal to... So, this is now equal to... Um, 29.19%. Okay. Okay, so... So, let's have a recap, no? So, again, ultimate analysis... So it is a defined as the precise uh, chemical determination by percent weight of the six basic components. So you have your carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, sulfur, ash, and oxygen. So ultimate analysis. So yung sa problem given na rin yung carbon, ash, nitrogen, sulfur. Okay. So ang hinahanap na lang natin is yung hydrogen yun yung oxygen. Okay. So yung total hydrogen is by means of net hydrogen plus the H in the combined water, no hydrogen in the combined water in moisture. So this is attained by uh, summing up the combined water in moisture, then multiplying it by means of the volumetric analysis of your hydrogen. So the same also what we and then adding this one to the to the total hydrogen. Uh, so that will be hydrogen plus your net hydrogen. So we have the value non total hydrogen. So now, to get the value for your oxygen, since ito na lang din naman yung kulang, dalawa lang naman ang kulang. So, the same procedure that we use by means of uh, summing up yung combined water and moisture, then multiplying it by means of the percentage of volumetric analysis. Then finally, we have the value for your, uh, uh, value of your oxygen in the weight percent basis.